everybody and welcome to day 12 of Hollow Vlog. My name is Jasmine and my pronouns are she and they. Um, today I need to be quick because I just ordered some DoorDash and it will be here in like less than half an hour um, between like 30 to 45 minutes so I want to make this quick because I don't want to leave my food out in the cold. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's get started. So we are halfway through Hall of Vlog, pretty much. Um, I think tomorrow is technically like the center point if we're counting all 25 days. Um, most of my advent calendars are 25 days, either a full skein on day 25 or just 25 days of minis. I think my Punk Rock Unicorn is the only one currently that is only 24 days. So I don't have a full skein from Punk Rock Unicorn. I didn't come with one. And, um, it only has 24 little boxes on the on, on the box <laughs> so that's probably the only one that i will not be opening on christmas day i don't know about um i know bona yarns i think has a 25 days of minis and what else uh sheepy shire i think is also 25 days of minis i know it didn't come with a full skein I'm like 90 percent sure <laughs> so I guess technically tomorrow would be the halfway point for most of my advents, but today is the halfway point, day 12 to 24, and then day 25 is like a special day. So without further ado, uh, I say let's get started. So first we can look at the Evertotes and Modern Folk Embroidery uh, Holiday Countdown box uh, for cross stitch. So... Day 12, December 12th. It's no secret that I love museums. I have a Dutch and Belgian museum card, and whenever I get the opportunity, I will revisit one and discover the collections and be inspired by all the stories and objects on display. Today on my YouTube channel, I'll be sharing a very special museum with you. Oh my gosh, I love museums. There aren't, um, I live near a college camp, a large co college campus. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Um, I live near a large college campus, but there aren't really that many museums. Most of the museums um, here are free or like low admission, um, or like very cheap admission, but there are art museums and I'm not super into art museums. I prefer, uh, history and science museums, um, over anything else. The Field Museum in Chicago is probably one of my favorites. Um, I think if I lived closer to Chicago, I would just keep an annual pass and go um, whenever I wanted or whenever there was an exhibit that I wanted to check out because I will happily go to a museum by myself but and I think I prefer I, I would prefer to go to a museum either by myself with just like one headphone in my ear and my sock knitting in my hand and just walk around and read all this stuff or um, bring someone who is equally as enthusiastic about museums and actually learning something at the museum as I am. I think the last time I was at the Field Museum, there was an exhibit on um, the true history of voodoo and Haitian culture and religion, which was really, really cool. My mom um, really wanted to go see it uh, because she, you know, as a, she is, as a result of colonialism, she is like Catholic, um, as is my stepdad, who is also from Haiti. So that was really interesting and fun to learn about and learn about how, I guess, uh, voodoo practice is still kind of like spilling over into a lot of Haitian culture and the way uh, Haitian Catholics practice their religion, which is cool. So this is the piece of the um, sampler that we were given today. It's kind of hard to tell day to day sometimes. Um, I think I will have to go ahead and download that uh, symbol guide from the Evertotes website. And today's color is called The Occasion. It's this like coppery, like reddish orangey color. It's this rusty color of floss. Very nice. And I think now would be as good a time as any since it is pretty quick to show off. Um, I finally got started working, got back into working on my a holiday countdown sampler and my hoop is finally somewhat centered uh, at the top and in the middle of the design so 
Um, I did stream yesterday and I worked on this the entire time, but I did mess up. So, um, this is what I've done so far. I've only done days one and two as far as the pattern go. Um, but I guess when I was putting all of my flosses on the ring that they gave us, I mixed up days two and six. I don't know how, I don't know what happened, but I mixed them up. Um, and so I stitched day two in the wrong color. This is biscotti for day two and it was supposed to be um like that light green so I'll, I just swapped them and I'm probably going to keep a pen in this box that I'm keeping all of the um extra patterns and the like unopened packages in because I need to I wish that they had numbered I wish that they had numbered each of these uh flosses so that I wouldn't get them like mixed up if I didn't put them on the ring so I'll probably just download that symbol guide and use that to kind of keep track because they should, I want to say they are in order of like the day that you open them. Oh God, my DoorDash has been picked up. Huh, I gotta hurry up. <laughs> I guess they're in the same order as the day that you open them. So I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm assuming like a logical person that that is what happened. Okay. Let's get started with the long part. Um, do not be alarmed if this does cut off and I do have to run and get my food from <laughs> my front door um, and come back. So first of all, let's get um, Asylum Fibers yarn out of the way. We're gonna open the yarn out of my calendars next. And this is the Neon Splatter, Neon Splash or Neon Splatter uh, fade for this year. So day 12, if I could get it open. Ooh, so yesterday was like a really bright neon yellow or orange. Really bright neon orange for yesterday. And today it's that similar orange with some yellow splashed in there. Oh, this is going to look so good. Look at this. So now tomorrow, day 13, we're gonna um, go down here and continue the yellows and potentially into greens. I don't know where we're gonna go from after green, maybe back to blue. I'm low key hoping it's a circular fade so that I can start from any color that I want <laughs> and just go in order that way. Oof, I feel like one of the cats scrapped me because my wrist is like kind of red and itchy all right next i've got beehive yarns this is the patisserie advent calendar uh, let me get the bag that the menu is in uh so today is day 12 so it's eclair lavande eclair lavande which is a lavender eclair lavender flavored And thank you to those of you who are leaving comments and messaging me um, of what the translations mean or what some of these pastries actually are. And same thing with the uh, Back to the 90s advent. Um, thank you all so much for commenting and messaging me, telling me what um, each day is referencing from the 90s since I don't know all of them. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is going to be a purple. And it is. And is there something... No, it's just part of the paper. So this is like a light lavender color with some pink splashes. I'm so excited to turn this into a bounce throw. <laughs> I'm kind of like settled on that uh, concept of like holding these minis double on themselves to knit the bounce throw. I cannot wait. So here is what it is looking like. Um, I feel like if I really wanted this to be a fade, I could uh, rearrange them so that like it would go from like light green to light blue to dark blue to dark purple, etc. So it would be like light to dark, light, light to dark, dark to light um, for each like color family. 
but I think it would be cool to, um, because I would have to hold the fingering weight yarns double to make a DK or light worsted weight, um, I could hold the colors double like with the next one. So for like day one, I would hold days one and two double and then days two and three and then three and four double, etc. until day 24, where I would hold the last and first day double with each other to kind of circle back. I think that would be really cool and really fun. Kind of marl these colors together. I think that would work best with like a true circular fade, but I don't really want to turn any of my circular fades into um, a blanket, at least not that I, at least not right now. So, but I do think that is a really cool idea. Okay, next is blush yarns, day 12. And let me check this message and see. Okay, yeah, it's just been picked up. I'm waiting for a new text message saying it's been delivered. I really, really hope they don't call me. So day 12 of blush yarns. Oh, wait, yesterday, I think we were getting into purples. Uh, it was like really light purple yesterday. Yeah. So it was really light purple yesterday. So probably more purple. Ooh, I was wrong. Oh, look at how pretty this is. So it's pink and super pale purple with a few speckles there as well. Oh, this is such a pretty color. I want full skeins of this color specifically. Blush yarns. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> so this is what the blush yarns fade is looking like. It's so soft and pretty. I'm excited to get into some potentially brighter pinks and purples. We're halfway through um, these mini skeins so far, so I'm really loving where this is going. Okay, next is day 12 of Bona Yarns, which is the... Um, which is the Vintage Barbie Advent Calendar. And day 12 is called Plush Pony. Plush Pony. This is a horseback riding Barbie. <laughs> I hope so. And it looks like um, the dyer grouped these minis kind of by color uh, as far as the order we're opening them in. And yesterday was... Um, I guess like a really light gray with green and yellow and orange speckles. So I'm kind of hoping we get, I don't, I don't really know where we're going to go to next. Hard to predict, especially since I don't know what any of these Barbie <gasps> outfits look like. Okay. So we're getting into some warmer colors now. Oh my gosh. So it's like a bright orange with a, um, I guess almost natural base on the other end with black speckles so I wonder if this Barbie came with a horse okay I'm like double checking to make sure I'm, I actually am filming <laughs> so this is what Bona yarns looks like so far so pretty oh my goodness these are so pretty these are definitely going to be a blanket um, I don't know what blanket. I definitely am really into those, um, whatchamacallit, uh, those modular blankets with like the lace, um, where you like cast on with a pinhole cast on and then you essentially knit in the round. You knit a square patch in the round with uh, some, you know, relatively basic lace. Those are kind of my favorite blankets that are coming out right now. So I have a few in my Ravelry cart and a few in my favorites list and a few in my uh, library that I can choose from. And I think, you know, it's easy enough. I can just make um, multiples of each blanket and keep the squares grouped together. I also am thinking about learning to um, crochet granny squares so I could turn a couple of these into granny square blankets, um, maybe combine some advent calendars if I want and turn them into granny square blankets or just make large granny squares. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, next is the Castle View. 
um, ice cream shop advent calendar. And this is day 12. And I did get my, uh, the, the rest of my tonals yesterday. I had to go to the post office, even though I asked them to just deliver it to my house with the rest of my mail because I knew I was getting packages yesterday. Um, they just didn't. They're like, actually, you're going to have to come pick it up from us instead, even though you specifically requested that we deliver it. We're just not going to do our jobs today. Like, okay, cool. Nice. At least the dude at the post office was nice. <laughs> okay, so day 12 is Choco Nut Swirl. It's the flavor. So probably a deeper, warmer brown. Oh no. This is like a brown and green swirled uh, colorway. Interesting. I'll have to look up this flavor. I tend to avoid um, nutty flavors because I'm allergic to nuts and I don't like them anyways. <laughs> so it took a while for us to learn that I was allergic to nuts. Um, but I think not liking nuts was just my body's way of telling everyone that I should not be eating them anyways. So here is what Castle View looks like so far. So pink to orange and yellow to brown. And now we're going to get into green, which makes sense considering the next couple of um, flavors that I see on this list. And I will get... Oof, I will get these minis back in their bag <laughs> if it kills me. I have four full skeins in here, plus 12 minis, plus the menu. So this bag is pretty full. Um, I'm probably going to end up taking out three of the tonal skeins next time I dig into this bag and just putting them on my yarn shelf somewhere. Um, or in one of the reusable, other reusable uh, Castle View bags. Because I do have a plan for these. I'm going to make a sweater out of them. I just, I'm not going to cast it on right now. I might use it as my Christmas Eve cast on. Um, and, you know, cast on Christmas Eve. After, after I've opened all of the mini skeins. Even though I won't need to use any of the mini skeins for quite some time, I do have to um, look at the pattern and do some math so I know how wide my stripes are going to be, etc., etc. <laughs> okay, where's my notebook? I think I have the right one. That's next. Uh, yes, next one is Floof Fiber. Um, well, next one should be Dystopic Fiber. And I sent the owner of Dystopic Fiber an Instagram DM, um, and they just, they did ship it. They just didn't, like, email me or get in contact with me. They're sounds like they're going through some stuff. So, um, my package is in Chicago right now. So it may or may not get to me before Christmas. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I did put the tracking number in my shop app to track everything. And, um, I'll know when it gets here. Thank goodness. <laughs> but this is flu fiber. Got a notification saying the, uh, dasher is approaching. So I gotta, this I'm after this, I'm going to, um, cut off the camera and go get my food. <laughs> so Flu Fiber, this is the Jewel Tone uh, Fade Countdown Calendar. And day 12. Yesterday was like a tonal, um, like highly saturated royal purple. And today over here is kind of that similar purple color just with more bare spots and some speckles. So very nice. And I'm trying not to spoil myself. And then next, uh, tomorrow we're going to start opening it down here. Okay. So I just got a message saying that my food is here. So I will, um, run and get it and I'll be right back. And then when I'm done filming, I will eat everything. <laughs> All right. Food's here. Let's continue opening these up. Um, and I'm going to ignore the smell because it is delicious and I'm starving. <laughs> I've not eaten yet. I like just woke up. So after flu fiber, we've got Hue Loco. This is the Hue Loco Oxide Fade Advent Calendar. 
so day 12 is called patina and we're in some greens Ooh. So this is like it's really hard to describe the like this particular shade of green it's like a blue green but not quite but it is very saturated it's not quite like a it's not really a copper green it's a little more blue than that it's just it's really hard to it's hard to describe this especially um showing it on camera but that is day 12 so i will rip the flaps off of this throw it back in this box and here is what it is looking like so far still have no clue what i want to do with this but that's fine Next is Lofty Loops, and today's color is named Pine Needle, so I'm assuming some green. I want to assume green. Ooh, this is not the kind of green that I was picturing. <laughs> this is like a chartreuse green, not, a pine, not necessarily a pine green, but... This is very beautiful tonal. I do like the color. It's just not very emblematic of pine needles. <laughs> not very representative of pine needles, but that's fine. The fact that she named all 24 mini skeins is a feat in and of itself. Okay. So this is the first 12 days of the Lofty Loops Advent Calendar. So pretty. I'm loving this palette. I will rearrange these um, potentially to be a little more fade-y, but I am really loving this palette. It's so soft and delicate. And I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet, but it's gorgeous. Okay, after Lofty Loops, we've got Punk Rock Unicorn. This is the, what is it, Rainbows and Snowflakes <laughs> themed advent calendar. Um, day 12 is this first one up here, so that's easy. Ooh, this one looks like cotton candy. Ooh, so it's like gray, pink, blue, and white. like moody trans colors how fun how fun I'm a fan really really pretty close the door give them some privacy okay and then we have so royal so I have the Hanukkah and the 25 day countdowns for so royal So I think today I'll actually start with the Hanukkah countdown. Um, for that, I got the Bold and Bright colorway. And I'm starting to forget what order all of these are. Oh, I remember. So this is the order <laughs> of the first five days of Hanukkah. So there's two purples, two blues, and a pink. So day six of Hanukkah. Ooh, it's another blue. Ooh, it's like blue with purple streaks. And the base is like that cerulean blue that I love so much. So I keep forgetting to put these on a string, but here is what they look like all together so day one over here and then day six over here very fun and then i have probably one of my favorite calendars this year um the 25 day calendar i got the soft and subtle colorway for this one Ooh. So 
oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so it's like that same gold and rose gold in here with some gray. Oh my gosh. I really hope we get into more rose gold colors. Oh, because it's so pretty. So this is the So Royal um, Soft and Subtle Fade Advent Calendar. Shaking them out. Okay. So Royal Soft and Subtle Fade. So pretty. So this is half of the Advent. Roughly. <clears throat> I'll fold these up and throw them in here. I will have to put these on a string at some point. Um, maybe. <laughs> we shall see. I might throw them back in the little plastic sleeve that they came in. Just unwrapped. Okay, next is Sheepy Shire. This is Take Me Back to the 90s. I'll get the bag everything is in. And this is a complete mystery every day. There's no rhyme or reason to the color grouping. It's not a fade. It's just a new themed color every day. So, ooh, I like this one. This one's called Come On Barbie, Let's Go Party. Okay, I do know this one. <laughs> and it's so cute. It's so cute like a light bubblegum pink super cute I'm not gonna sing the song but I do know the song I don't know if it was like an official thing at all ever but I do remember being on YouTube and seeing a lot of uh, references to it when I was a child <laughs> on the early YouTubes, early, early YouTubes. God, what a dark, twisted place that was. <laughs> but here is the Sheepy Shire Advent Calendar all put together. This is definitely going to be some kind of patchwork blanket. Um, again, I don't know what it, which pattern I'm gonna use. And I also need to decide on a main color um, because this calendar especially is so, colorful. Um, I'm gonna have a time picking a main color. I might just use an undyed yarn uh, for the main color and call it a day. Okay, next is uh, Suburban Stitcher. This is the Dreaming of a Pink Christmas fade and we're getting into some more berry pinks and I'm going to turn this into a like blanket cardigan essentially it's essentially a blanket with with sleeves <laughs> but it looks so cozy and exactly what I need so this is day 12 so pretty so this one is more tonal than some of the previous ones have been I don't see any speckles just a simple tonal colorway. And this is what the calendar looks like so far. So this is a pink fade advent calendar. And it's so pretty. So pretty. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm so happy with this. And this is 25 days of mini skeins. So I will have plenty of yardage to make this cardigan. I just need to find a main color to use for the sleeves. Um, and last, but certainly not least, I have a Walmart Verve. This is Arabian Nights. And this is also a fade. Oh. Ooh, so there's a lot more gray and black in this one. Less purple and less blue. So we're getting a bit deeper and darker, kind of looking more 
into the night sky, it seems. And I'm trying to pull this out all in one piece and keep it organized. <laughs> So, oh yeah, I can definitely see the, the transition now that I'm looking at them all together. So we started with these like bright, bright cerulean blues, and now we're moving into some moodier, moodier colors here in the middle. And then I'm hoping we get into some sunset colors. I, at this point in a lot, I think I, I felt this way last year, but I feel like at are on the halfway point um, of opening my advent calendars, I get this urge to just like peek at just the last day of all of them um, just so I could see where things end. But a lot of these advent calendars, um, like everything is sealed and taped up. So I can't just like peek at them at the last day without like <laughs> by day 25, like by day 24, 25, all of you will see that like the packaging is ripped open when I show it to you. So I'm not going to do that. I also don't want to spoil myself. Um, trying very hard not to spoil myself or others this year. But that is all the uh, advent calendars I have to open. And now we can talk about my advent project for this year. So I <laughs> am like kind of in the middle of a row almost. Um, but I didn't, I guess I didn't, um, knit the wrong side yet on this. So it's going to look kind of funky, but this is the Grad Event shawl by Julia Maria Hegenbart. And I did a lot of knitting yesterday. Um, I knit a little bit on stream the last like 30 or so minutes. And then afterwards I ate and then I knit so much more. <laughs> Um, I actually have two skate, two colors attached here. So I finished day 11 or I finished day 10. Uh, and then I finished, I also finished a day 11 and now I just attached day 12. So I'm a little ahead on this, but I can't help myself. I'm just obsessed. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with working on this. It's such a, such an easy therapeutic knit. So this was day 11 that I am almost done working with. And then this is day 12 that I just added in. Uh, days 10 and 11 look very similar as you can see. <laughs> and, um, but now we're moving into uh, some of these purples. So the next color, so I'm working through this advent calendar backwards and you can see that it's very, what's the word? I think it's just like more homogenous. There's only really two colors left to work through. So I have purples and then a lot of blue for the last like six or seven days. <laughs> it's just different shades of, slightly different shades of blue. You can see the shades better on camera, I think. Um, so the last few days are going to be like very, very samey to me, uh, which I guess is fine, but it is kind of, ooh, excuse me. I'm, I am nervous that like towards the end, I'm going to get bored um, because there's not too much variation in the colors. And I'm also nervous that um, I'm going to just like fly through the rest of the minis um, in like a couple of days because I just want to get the thing done and I won't really enjoy it. That's another fear of mine. <laughs> but I would like to have this whole shawl done by the end of December. So the next color that I'm going to work in is this bright purple. This is the brightest color in the remainder of the lineup. Um, and I'll probably swap. 
I'll probably swap these two colors here. Mm, yeah. I'll probably swap these two colors here um, when I get to them. Okay, so that's all. <laughs> Um, that is it. I am starving. I'm, I hate to end this so abruptly and not be too chatty with all of you, but I'm so hungry and my food is right there. So I'm going to call it here today. Um, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me for these last almost two weeks. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.